Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Apex 2017 in San Diego and I'm joined by John Ranieri from Rogers Corporation. John, thanks for coming by. Thanks for stopping by to chat. Thank you for having us. Lots going on in terms of new technology, particularly with data transfer and a big explosion there. And, and 5G seems to be the solution. But with any new generation of telecoms, there's challenges in terms of the supply chain. What does that mean to you in terms of laminates and uh, what's going on there? Yeah, so yeah, so of course we're a specialty materials supplier. We've the uh, our advanced connectivity solutions division focuses on laminates and prepraise, mm. um, and we've traditionally been um, heavily involved in the um, RF and microwave uh, uh, industry. And you know we've uh, kind of seen throughout the generations, you know, from 1G up to now 4G. Of course, uh, increased data transfer is very important. Um, you start to look at things like. Uh, uh, trying to tighten up impedance control, very low loss, and also uh, you do see different frequency spectrums now being used. And we're not really sure what 5G is going to sort of how it's going to end up. We hear about you know 28 gigahertz up to 60 gigahertz mm. potentially. And so the materials that need to be developed um, for those that frequency spectrum are a little bit different than the sort of one to six gigahertz mm. kind of range that we have now. So you know no woven glass reinforcement uh, potentially. Uh, potentially lower dielectric constant, yeah. thinner materials, yeah. uh, very tight impedance control. Okay, so that becomes a, and it's a really interesting challenge. You say you're actually working to a uh, an endpoint and you don't actually know what the goal is yet. How do you, how do you develop your technology roadmap there? Do you work with the chip manufacturers, do you work with the telecom providers, who's 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 driving you on that side of things? Um, I think, yeah, so we do work uh, with the chip manufacturers. Uh, of course, one of our goals is to look at reference designs, right? So yeah. we want to uh, try to understand what types of reference designs are out there and try to make sure that we're on those prints. Mm. Um, but then also with the um, the OEM, like system integrator level, yeah. um, we work quite, quite closely with them, as well as the antenna manufacturers. So it's, it's kind of like an all of the above yeah. thing. And of course, um, you can't forget about the, the fabrication piece yeah. uh, because ultimately you need to be able to build a circuit board. Yeah. So you need to work closely with the PCB fabricators to make sure they're ready for what you're bringing to the market. That's right. Because I guess you're on most of their AVL lists anyway, so you're 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 in their you're in their picture anyway. Sure. What else is keeping you awake at night? Powertrain, those kind of things, and yeah. So the other, so you know, Rogers, as I said, has traditionally been involved with the RF market um, and high-speed digital market. We're mm -hmm. looking also now at power electronics, and um, you know, what's driving. Uh, you know, some of the applications there are automotive, LED, consumer electronics, and, and what's really driving the, that market is, um, you know, cost, weight, size, mm. right? Um, so that is the, I, you know, that's that's what's critical, um, is that you reduce the size. We have products that um, potentially could replace some of the other thermal management techniques that are out there, like heat sinks and right. heat pipes, um, and instead roll that into the printed circuit board itself. Um, so highly thermally conductive materials, for example, um, uh, IMS materials. Yeah, so those are the types of things that we're working. Yeah, on now. and when you're working on those, you're obviously working with uh, OEMs in terms of what they see their roadmap to be. But obviously, not just not just one department. You've got to work with manufacturing, but you've, you've also got to be back in there design teams working with them to make sure they can use the laminates you're producing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we like to work with OEMs. I mean, yeah. so because really, um, and fabricator level too, I mean, both because there's requirements, very special requirements at both levels. Mm. And um, in order to develop materials that fit, you have to know those requirements. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, John, interesting times ahead. Some interesting challenges. I'm particularly interested in where this 5G, 5G things going because I think with this explosion in data, that's going to be a challenge that we need to meet. But of course, pleasure to chat to you. Agreed. Thank you very much. Let's talk.